Hello everyone. So today's video, I am going to discuss about one interesting topic in software testing that is unit testing. So as a tester, as a QA, all have to know that what is unit testing and it is the important interview question that, that any interviewer can ask you that what is unit testing in software testing. So we have to, we have to think that item, I, I mean, that topic very carefully and we have to we have to we have to learn this topic in very careful carefully so let's start what is unit testing so as the name says that unit means some component some some small small component that is called one unit so like like if i am giving one example unit means suppose this is a total partition this is a total and if i divided into four parts that means in this total part in this total uh, total uh, anything total elements so total there is four units are there right so units means a full system there in full features some small features that is called one unit so that means it's a one unit it's another unit it's one unit, it's one unit. So that is four units are there. So that is called unit. So what do you mean by unit testing? So unit testing means, unit testing is a type of software testing where individual units or components of a software are tested. Right? Now, I'm giving you one very basic example. Let's say, let's say, this is an application okay so this is an application and in this applications there is suppose there is one username field one password field and let's say one login button is there so i am giving the name it as username and this is the password and let's say this is the login button so unit testing means what unit testing says unit testing says that it's a type of software testing where individual units or components of a software are tested. That means, so in this, in that application, how many units are there? There are three units. Like username is a one unit, password field is one unit, and login button is one unit. So when we are testing all the unit individually, we are testing all the unit individually then that testing is called as a unit testing right so now guys you are very clear about what is unit testing so unit testing means when unit testing is a type of software testing where individual units or components of a software are tested that is nothing but called as a unit testing now what is the purpose of unit testing the main purpose of unit testing is to validate that each unit of a software code performs as expected so that means any applications any application if any functionality or if any codes are working perfectly fine or not that should be checked on unit testing so that's why the main purpose of the unit testing is to validate that each unit of a software code perform as per expected right so unit testing is done during the development phase or coding phase so whenever the software program is developing so in that development phase the unit testing will be done okay and it is done by the developer so unit test isolate a sections of code and verify its correctness so a unit i already told you very first that what is the unit unit may be an individual functions a method a procedure a module or any object so that is called a unit right so now we are very clear about what is unit testing so when some modules when of a hoyen for a software some modules or some units are tested so that is nothing but called a unit testing okay so now second point is that when will you do unit testing so i have already told you that in the development phase or coding phase we will go for unit testing 
right so who will do the unit testing mainly the developers will do the unit testing mainly the developer will do the unit testing but sometime if there is very less time for the developer or there is some minimal time for the developer and the developer has many more work in their hand so that time your engineers or tester can do the unit testing but basically the first choice is that unit testing is only for the developer end okay so now we are clear about when and who will do the unit testing now why do unit testing why do unit testing unit testing is very important because software developers sometimes try to saving time doing minimal unit testing that's i have already told you that sometimes developers are are saving their times by doing minimal unit testing and this is the myth because inappropriate unit test leads to high cost defect fixing during system testing integration testing even beta testing right so what is system testing what is integration testing what is beta testing in my upcoming video i will discuss all of these thing very very depth okay so as of now unit testing is the first testing of any software so you guys have to remember that first we have to go for the unit testing not to developers will do the unit testing very first now when developer are developing any software first developer will check by their own that the software is working as per the client's expected or not that developer will first check so after checking by the developer then developer upload that thing in any server okay so leave it that after unit testing by the developer then developer hand over that software to the tester and the tester then they will not go for any unit testing the tester will go for the system testing integration testing acceptance testing like that many testing are there so in my upcoming video i will do i will go for one by one for each and every testing is very depth so no problem at all so don't worry about that so now what i am saying i am just saying that unit testing is the very first testing of any software that will done by the developer so suppose let's say this is the example suppose this application has been done by the developer so before hand over that application to the tester the developer will check by their own that when they are using when they are putting username in password and clicking on login button that functionality should be working as per expected or not so that should be tested very fast by the developer so that's why i'm telling that so sometimes developers try to saving time by doing minimal unit testing and that and that is the myth because inappropriate unit testing leads to high cost defect and fixing during system testing integration testing even beta testing right that means suppose developer they don't do they they didn't take for any they didn't go for any type of unit testing now what will be the effect now without unit testing developer hand over that application suppose this is the application developer hand over that application to the tester okay now when that tester i have already told you that tester will never go for any type of unit testing they will first go for integration testing then system testing then accept testing many type of testing okay so now when suppose when the testers are uh, will do the integration testing at their integration time if they follow if they see that that the unit testing means the username field is not working the password field is not working or sometimes some login button is not working that means the unit testing has not properly done by the developer so what will be the effect so after giving the software to the tester and tester find that easy type of bug so that bug or defect should be caught by the developer when they will when they have done the unit testing so if the developer will not do the unit testing again the rework will be done by the developer because the tester will fail that issue okay so then again that will revert back to the developer and developer again will fix that that means 
it will take more time and more cost so that's why i'm telling that if proper unit testing is done in early development that then that saves times and money at the end if we don't go for if the developer don't go for any unit testing that means there will be a lot of times will be needed and the lots of money will be needed for that unit testing so now we are very clear about that why we why we do for the unit testing now i am giving some key points of why do unit testing because unit test helps to fix bugs early in the development cycle and save cost right second it helps the developer to understand the testing code base and enables them to make change quickly if anything is happening wrong in the development phase when they are when they are testing i mean when the developer are testing they can suddenly fix that issue right and the third point is that good unit test serve as project documentation if we go for if we do the best or good unit test unit testing they are, that serve as a project documentation and fourth point is that unit test helps with code reuse and migrate both of your code and your test to your new project so quick the code until the test run again so these are the main key point of the unit testing why we do unit testing so now you guys are very much clear about that why we go for unit testing why unit testing is needed and why unit testing is important right so make sure when any developer develop their software or develop their application first they will do unit testing by their own and then they will hand over that software to the tester for any further types of testing okay so now i am coming the next part what what is that how to do unit testing what is the process how to do unit testing so in order to execute unit test developers write a sections of code test a specific functions in software applications that already you have known so developer can also isolate this function to test more rigorously which reveals unnecessary dependencies between functions being tested and other unit so that dependency can be eliminated so developer generally use a unit test framework by their own to develop any automated test cases for unit testing right so how to do auto, how to do unit testing so as this is a part of developer so developer can use any types of unit test framework for their own purposes so that is totally in their their hand okay so how the developer will do the unit testing that is totally by their goal so they will they will uh, use any kind of testing unit test framework or or they can check their or they can divide it their code by some section some module so that when they will go for the unit testing they can easily test their code so they can follow many uh, as by their own okay so now this is the main points of how to do unit testing now types of unit testing so there are two types of unit testing as there one is manual testing and one is automated testing so what is manual testing in my previous video i have already discussed about that what is manual testing so if you guys don't see my video so please see my video otherwise you will don't know that what is manual testing or in this video's description i will add that manual testing video link so guys you can follow from here also and for for this unit testing part i am giving you some basic details about what is manual testing when the testing is done by manually without using any automation tool that is called manual testing and what is automation testing when the application is testing by any automated tool that is called automation testing okay so in automation testing in my next video or in my upcoming videos i will update that what is automation testing in very brief way okay so don't worry about that now coming to the next point that unit testing technique so there is lots of technique are there like statement coverage decision coverage branch coverage condition coverage finite state machine coverage so this is the unit testing coverage so i will cover all of these when i will learn you that white box testing 
that is the automation testing part that is white box testing so in my white box testing video i will cover all these things in very detail don't worry about that but as of now we have to know that what is unit testing so that is the important thing and so you guys have already know that what is unit testing so unit testing is the type of software testing where individual units or components of a software are tested that is called unit testing and the main purpose of unit testing is to that validate each unit of the software code performs as expected right so that is the main thing or that is the main fund of unit testing that every tester or every developer should know okay so i hope uh, you guys are very much clear about what is unit testing and i have already told you very first in this video that maximum time interviewer will ask you that what is unit testing right so now you can easily tell that what is unit testing that's all about about unit testing and today's video so if you guys have any doubt please comment me or if you guys like my video one thumbs up and subscribe to my channel edupat and click on the bell icon so that you guys can get my videos update first so see you in the next video thank you